Uh, they told me you're a UAV operator. And at the time, I was like, oh, what is that? And then I get here and I see all this great technology and it's been, been just great. Open. The Marine Corps acquired the RQ-21 uh, late 2011, so we've had it for approximately five and a half years now. The infantry, they have little handheld UASs, Group 1 and Group 2. As far as the Marine Corps, we have two Group 3 UASs, which is the RQ-7 Bravo and then the RQ-21 Blackjack. Between the two aircraft, the RQ-21 does not require a runway to land, which is a huge advantage for us. We get set up in numerous different places without having that, that uh, airfield. RQ-21 can also have interchangeable payloads, which is a great advantage. So depending on the mission, we can change the payloads to better support whatever we need to support. We're most commonly used for just reconnaissance and gathering intelligence and also overwatch. It's very cheap. You can fly for a long time. Without UAS, we would need bigger aircraft that can't fly as long and much less fuel efficient. So it would cost the Marine Corps a lot more money. Because the UAS provides great, great advantages to us. Um, keeps troops out of harm's way. As far as it goes for the importance of us, I would say ground troops and the infantry definitely loves us because it, it provides them that safety, just knowing that there's somebody above them watching them and knowing th that they're safe.